here on the street did this shirt. We're gonna punch him in the teeth, man. Damn. We're gonna punch him in the nose. Since I was just a little kid. My team runs down rusted wrecks. Well, let's get to work, man. Come on. We knock out the ugly and put in the cool. Turn these buckets of rust into street art. This is our resurrection. This business, we're always looking for the next project. It's going to bring us some cash. Okay, so we found this Cadillac. Dude, check this thing out. That might have come in the form of 64 cabs shagging a man in his mouth. I think a man may have been the first person to click on it. just put it on today. Seriously, it sounds like it may be too good to be true, but there's only one way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> 
it. Oh my! And he wins. When the top went down, I don't know if you caught it, but I looked back at you, and I was, I could not contain myself. Thing. Yeah, thanks for yeah. starting well, it. Guys, uh, yeah, yeah, let's talk about this, man. What, uh, you know, what, are, what are you asking? Uh, I want to get 12.5 for it. 12.5. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm a musician, and I have uh, some new songs I want to record. Yeah, man, that's definitely a fair number, no doubt. But with what we're doing at the shop, we're always looking for projects we can come in and, and then, you know, turn it for a profit. Sure. Uh, but with something like this, yeah, I don't know, man. Well, it does uh, It does need a little bit of work. Um, yeah. I guess it just depends on, on uh, what you guys are thinking of doing to it. Um, I mean, with what I've seen and what I know Joe would do to this thing, I was thinking more around, like, nine cash. Uh, I think that might be a little bit lean for me. Yeah. So it's fair for both of us. What would be the lowest? Bottom so dollar. We, bottom dollar, so we can profit. You're happy and comfortable with it. Probably ten would be my bottom dollar. Ten? Yeah. I'm, I'm good with ten. I see we have a deal. So Let's do it, man. I think we have a deal. Ten it is. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I got chill bumps. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> sketch for you, man. That's awesome. I thought it was a... Well, it's the first project. I finally knew exactly what color I'm going to paint today, you know? That looks nice, man. Need the interior black, I think, you know? I mean, man, the only thing I can see that we need to do is just replace the top on it. The rest, yeah, I think we I think can run so. with. The bones of this car are great. Everything's solid. Chrome's good. Interior's good. It's going to be an easy turn and hopefully some easy cash in my pocket. They don't get much more purple, man. That's a big old girl. Well, you killed Kato, it. Kato. Kato. All of our cars our mail's in here, brother. Oh, yeah. Uh, one more mistake. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go back to my... Stop. I'm going back to my cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Well, 
we started tearing the Cadillac down. Where we at on this deal? And we discovered a few spots that got some rust. Yeah, it kind of worms over here. And somebody did a half-assed job of patching them. A lot of crappy mud work on here. They just put Bondo over the rust, which is not going to last. If you love old cars, you know what you have to deal with. You got to expect a lot of that. Convertibles are notorious for holding moisture. Why do people abuse uh, Bondos? I don't know. Though. If these cars are old, it's all the elements just constantly degrading the car. But then we may look at somebody's method for patching it up. Look how much we got on here. It's like, man, come on. I can't wait till I meet this guy on the street and did this shirt. If we come across these guys someday, we're going to punch him in the teeth, man. Bam! We're going to punch him in the nose. Not good. So much for that one. This is one of those cars, man. Everything breaking. Basically, we found what we were hoping we wouldn't. Well, how do they say it, man? Hope, uh, uh, hope in one hand and yeah, something else on the other. Mm -hmm. This fender is something else. See? I think we got a few more worms than what we thought we had. You want to come look? Worms? Yeah, worms. Like cans of worms? Well, we got uh, 55 gallon barrels. Yeah. We found more rust that we really didn't expect. Should we just go ahead and take off the sure, uh, bumpers uh, sure, yeah. off? Of what we're going to do is just take the whole car apart and open up the, 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 the can for real. You know what I mean? And and, and and really assess the damage that we're going to have to fix. We're heading down the road. We figure, you know, let's take some back roads and look around on the way back to the shop. Wait, 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 look at that. That is hideous, and I have to learn more. Oh, my God, it's awful. Turn around. We run across this heinous, heinous vehicle. I wonder if he takes this and, like, you know, tailgates or something. This is a champion right here. Yeah. Here. I'm pretty sure UT has no idea that this thing No, exists. no, no. It's rough. It's rough. With horns. There. Maybe I should take your picture in front of it. But I'm so glad we stopped. Oh, me too. There's a really cool rib sitting there. I mean, Joe's into ribs. He's got a 63. This looks like maybe a 65. How you guys doing? Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm just fine. Hey, I'm Shag. Shag, I'm Mitch. Mitch, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Hi, I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you. Good so. new for you guys. Well, man, we noticed the rib over here. Yeah? You were looking to get some cars like this. Well, I hadn't really thought about selling, but the fact is I'm trying to raise money to help fund my electric car to try to break 200 miles an hour to Texas Mile. What? So, 200 miles an hour? Mind if we take a look at it? Yeah, no problem. Be awesome. Come on in. This thing's gonna be heavy. We might need some help. Yeah, you wanna get in the middle, please? Come here, Mr. Kipps. Me and Shorty start tearing the Cadillac down. Damn! You picked up the whole car. Okay. You know, opening up that can of worms. Got the trim off the car. We're getting it ground down. We're gonna figure out our plan, what we're gonna do. A little bit more rust, a little bit more rust. You got a dump truck there. Not, not one of them short ones, but one of them hard dump trucks. Last guy that did this car hacked it up, covered it up. You got a whole fishing store for Hey man, but you know what? The good thing about it is, once this car is done, be right. it'll be badass. Oh man. Wow. Well, this is the bloodshed. This is an all electric drivetrain. Okay. It's called the Zombie 222. Stands for two motors, two controllers, and two damn fast motors. <laughs> Mitch shows me this uh, battery-powered car. Hopefully, I thought it was a Mustang body kit on a Prius. So you have batteries in the trunk feed all the energy up into these controllers that then divide it up among voltage and amperage, depending on what I'm doing with the gas pedal. There is no transmission. Okay. That is crazy. Okay. Yep. So we had to do all the frame reinforcements, put in the Shelby roll bar setup. <coughs> Now, that feels like a normal Mustang, doesn't it? Yeah. Except you wouldn't use that gear shifter. That's the... That, <laughs> that's the O That's the shift. That is the emergency power disconnect. Because if you have a stuck accelerator, right, and with 1,800 foot-pounds of torque and 800 horsepower, 
The brakes are useless. This all oh, sounds, well, that sounds great. So fun. But it's an electric car. Well, it's electric, yes. I mean, can we take this thing outside and see what kind of rubber it lays? I if, don't. If it can even lay rubber. Oh. This, well, there's a lot of noise. I, I, I think you. I think I saw your lips move. I heard sound cutting across the boat. It, it, it all sounds cool. You don't think that right there's going to Oh my gosh. That's wow. That's pretty pretty, but. You saying it's just shiny lights? Proof of the pudding. Would you like to go for a ride? Let's do it. This kind of like happened to be a good buy, but that's a reason we got the car cheap. They don't make quarter shoes, then, right? Cherie's finding a lot more rust than I was hoping we'd find on this car. You know, we're, we're going to have to cut it off at some point. Yeah, you're right. But we want to do it right. Add all new panels. Get the rust cut out. We got no choice, really. Let's get the wheel of death. gently and then starts curving in really tight radius then you got a body line that starts here and fades away just a lot of hours just to get it to fit Set of stuff. I was missing a nut, but guess what? We lost two nuts off of there. 
in the afternoon that Joe had to go take care of some business. And as soon as he steps out, Pop automatically thinks he takes over. Y'all listen up. Joe's gone right now, so that means I'm shot for him. Pop, you gonna get your ass kicked. First rule of the day, y'all start putting your tools up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when I'm done with the airline, I came out here, then I've had to weave around the frame on top of it, across the exhaust mount. God. <laughs> you have all this room and nowhere to run the line. It's all bizarre under here. <laughs> I'm gone 40 minutes. You guys get a couch, man? I guess we better get the work ready. <laughs> Since we're going to paint it a dark color, it's going to show every wave and ripple on it, so it's got to be straight. I'm going to fix this in here, and I'm going to fix this in here. I just want to get through this right here. Then you do this right here. On the Cadillac, the pump up helped me a lot. I showed him how to do it. You've got to make sure you take all these waves out. And once you get done with this section here, then you do that. Okay. Don't force it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. He did it right, and he saved me a lot of work, so I think he's going to be all right after all. All right, sure, I'm coming around. I'm busy, Pumper. You do your thing over there, like I showed you. Showed you like the Kung Fu master. It's kind of like that movie Titanic. Do you trust me? You know, when he's in the front of the ship and, and, and she gets up there with her head, let go yeah. of her head, she, he said, do you trust me? Do you trust me? Yeah, okay. I trust you. Let go. Let go, Pumper. We well, both be back here catching me as well. That's just a figure of speech, right? but not literally. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's coming along real good. Right now, I'm doing the last minute touches. I've been working on this for a few hours just to get it fitting pretty good. So, look at that. Nice little guy all the way around here, which is what you want. Looks like ready for prank. All I want is for that thing to look straight. Because if it doesn't look straight, I'm not happy. It was a lot of work, but I'm stoked because I think it's going to come out killer. You going to start it, Jose? Yeah, I want to see if it run, though. So we got it done. It looks great. The next step is paint. Right. It's like a champ, dog. Right. It looks a lot of car, man. Get me to spray the Cadillac and tweak it in some of these colors. Brine it, let it marinate. And that now you can really see the sparkles. It's very tricky with this car because I don't want the car to be too loud of a purple. It's just way too much car for that wild paint sort of thing. Yeah. But I want that purple to stand through. Hey, this looks like it's got more material on this shirt, Yeah, well, it does, because all I've done in that one is putting nothing but pearls. And, man, it looks pretty wicked on the stick. Can't wait to see it on the car and get it out in the sun. I finally got this boat buttoned up, which is perfect timing, because a potential buyer wants to come take a ride in the same. So we thought we better go put it in the water, make sure everything's cool, and uh, nothing's ever cool. This motor took a crap on us. So we went back to the dock, but it turns out, yeah, the buyer's 20 minutes away. Can you feel the first one right there or not? Um, of course we got the buyer on his way. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And Joe calls. The boat is not running. You can get up the bottom. Ah, you dirty little 
I guess this is him. Yeah, right on time. Look at us. How's it going, y'all? Hi. Welcome. I'm Captain Rick. I'm Shag. Nice to meet you, Shag. Hi, Amanda. Amanda, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So thanks for coming out today. Yeah, of course. I'm excited. Uh, what's your plan? I don't have a plan. My plan is to stall Rick. Oh, we're gonna be straight coming. I'm gonna get you to put the super torque on this one, son. So should we uh, go for a little leg test? What do you yeah. say? Sure, man. You gotta grab anything? Yeah, I'll grab my board. Oh. We're wakeboarding today. Come on, darling. Crack again, Mike. Right? So it turns out we got an impeller that took a crap on us. Yeah, crack it, Mike, crack it. Basically, impeller is kind of like the water pump. Sucks water out of the lake. Keeps the engine cool. Did you pump this thing? Last minute details like that. Always bad. Like a fine sewing machine, sir. But turns out, got it back on there just in time for this guy's walking down the dock. Come look at this thing. I you they fix it like they work in the pits at Indy. <laughs> That's not their first time to have to change one of those on the water. That's the Martin Brothers pit crew right there. They don't play around. Yeah, let's see what you can do. I'm excited. wakeboard and I was cold as cold on the water and it was raining and, and he was getting ready to get on his wakeboard I'm like brother you gonna put your like rubber suit on your wetsuit whatever it's called and, and he looked right at me and said he wasn't planning on getting wet idle forward go for it hit it he's a bad dude This was a true test drive. He came serious, man. He knows what he's looking for. Yeah, I really liked it, man. I think uh, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and buy it. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. You gonna shake on that? Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, we ended up getting 19.5 for this boat. It was actually a pretty nice chunk of change. We need to get a little cash flowing back in the shop. And if Shorty had his way, definitely need to put that money back into something with some wheels. <laughs> You ready to get this car over? Yes, sir. Is it ready to come out of the sun? Sure does. It's ready, huh? Yeah, I got it ready to go, man. Hey. Hey. I love that color, man. Look at that stuff in the sun. Sure does. Looks bad ass. Yeah, sure. Look how straight we got it. You got it ironed out, sure does. This is one of my favorites. Shipment in from original parts group and a bunch of Cadillac parts. Yeah, OPGI, man. We got here. We built the entire front end of that Cadillac. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. that's nice. This brakes. Don't let Kato go yet. New convertible top right here, Kato. Look how excited he is. Not, not me. Where are you going, Kato? <laughs> <laughs> what side's up, Kato? Oh, this side's up. Yeah, oh, man. Totally know what oh, we're doing here. You know how to put this on? Nope. No clue. We're going to win. I'm glad you're here with me so we can screw this up together. Particularly me is your brother's car. Oh, that's... We're going to say a little prayer right quick. <laughs> Amen to the upholstery gods. Yeah. Snug, no wrinkles, man. That woke that car up there. Teamwork. This Cadillac's come along really well. Now it's time to start working on this brake system. If we're gonna race, we gotta get prepared here. I challenge Carl on who he changed out to drum brakes to disc brakes, the fastest. One of those. And uh, I think 
I'm going to lose, but when you win, it's when preparation meets opportunity. I'm almost there. Are you? How you doing over there, Carl? I'm done. Dang, come <laughs> break the car when people look at it and either they frown or they like whoa you see th this is a wall right here then you can go over there and lift the hood up and show them the motor the, the way the body looks the way the paint looks that's number one and then everything else comes after that depends that, on the car sure does number uno we're not, be, we're not talking about dirt car. racing. It could be a drag car. In, in, in that case, yeah, the motor matters. That's what I want to hear, Jody. The motor matters. Hey, I like good motors, too. <laughs> right on. We have to get this dinosaur put together. Man, I know. That's right. I got all the body work looking good. The paint's looking killer. Can't wait to put this thing back together. Get it down on the floor. Take it for a ride. Yeah, I think we're doing surgery, man. Yeah, it looks like a... That should be pretty close. I'll just I'll line it up up here. We're going to put all the chrome and everything back on this thing and... Put all the trim and make it pretty again. Yeah, that's the top of the fender. Now, this goes on the door more than likely right here. Well, we're done with that. Uh, well, uh, I wonder where the, where the pieces for the quarter panels are. The long pieces. You think, there, you think there's a ghost that comes in here and, and misplaces stuff every night? Oh, yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I might just grab a ranch, brother, and go to work. There's no shortage of that around here. You got a stroker, man. Pull the pants up. <laughs> hey, Papa, all the way up. <laughs> hey, what's this screw look like? So many little pieces, but man, just the front end, so much style. Yeah, I don't see anything with Cars now, you know, just one big chunk of plastic in the front. Something missing until that's on there. Huh? These things, you cuss them all along, but then when you put them back together and start looking at them, you know, you wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> hey, man, that's a work of art right there. I'm done. Maybe you need to watch me do the chair to work with. Alright, ready to ride. She's ready to go. This thing needs some vitamin D on her, bro. Sure. <laughs> Open that door, man. Let's see how it looks in the sun, brother. Alright, let's check it out. Just firing the car up. You know, I mean, the car's got so much power. You know, you never get tired of that sensation. It's shining, all the chrome is clean, and it's sitting down low like it's supposed to. And watching it go out the door, that's the payoff, man. Set the Cadillac. It's got the final buffing done, got all the chrome put on, and parts. Yeah, this thing looks great. The purple is gorgeous. Sam, yeah, what's up? You gotta get out and look at this thing, man. It's a, such a big car, you have to really nail the color. Oh, yeah. And they nailed the color. <laughs> makes it all worthwhile. Words can't explain it. Man, I know we paid 10000 for this thing. Countless hours. Yeah. But what do, what do you 
do you want for it, Joe? I mean, what, what's the uh, what's the range? It's like once again we went overboard. We went a little over budget with Spending the hours. the time. It's gonna have to be. I was at least forty. At least forty. Thirty says forty. Thirty says forty. Where are you gonna go get a car like this and, and do it up like this? That Cliff. Cliff's a perfect example of one of these hill country hot rod characters that come by the shop. What's going on, Cliff? How you doing, John? He's kind of a home builder himself. And ever since we opened the shop, he's come by to check out, see what we got going on. What I was telling you about. Man, it's bad. It's purple. <laughs> it is purple. You gotta be a little wild to like purple Cadillac. I mean, this guy looks like an old country star, a rock star, like the Allman Brothers or something bad. So, naturally, I thought, hey man, let's call Cliff. Too, it looks good. Your boots go well with this car. The accessories match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that is you there. Oh, that's big enough for me. He looks like he's headed straight to Nashville right now. He does. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him grinning. I thought, man, maybe he's going to uh, freak us all out and pony up some cash. Yeah, that's an awesome car. What you going for? Mid 40s. I was thinking more around the mid 30s there. Well, thanks for dropping by. <laughs> we're going to win over this stop right there. I don't think we can let it go for that low with all the hours we have in it. I don't think he wants to let it go at all. So, right. I mean, I'd say 40 is the, the bottom. 38. Oh, he didn't hear me. The 40 really is the bottom. 40 is where we're all happy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are we talking? Don't have, don't, bags. don't have to go to the bank. Don't have to go to the bank. When Cliff mentioned that he didn't have to go to a bank, that meant cold cash. I mean, we can get 40 for this thing. No doubt. 39. He was driving off the bargain there. What's a thousand dollars to him, friends? I know, so shake 40. That hand, son, shake that hand. Cliff, go ahead. <laughs> oh. I think Shaq probably felt like I stepped on his toes a little bit. But, you know, Cliff's a car guy, I'm a car guy. You know, cut to the chase type of situation. Bezels replayed it. At the end of the day, my thing is, I want it to be fair for all parties. And that's what this was today. I think everybody's happy. Definitely takes the sting out of selling these cars to somebody who really appreciates it. Because you get attached to them. And knowing they're going to a good home just makes it all that much better. That is me. Okay, go. Pulling up to the house. El perro loco, crazy dog. The story as it's happening. The dog. Absolutely. No, where are you going, dog? Here, he's playing around, son. Woo! Sorry. We're pulling up to the house.